Well, here we are. Here we are at my dad's house. Look, we got a got a field mushroom and another half a field mushroom. The sheep have had it. It's on the back field. Here we go. Got a few parasols here. Ah, uh, that one's. Oops, I dropped one. That one's a bit manky. Oh, look at this little ring of stuff. They'd probably kill me. <laughs> we got, here's another field mushroom. By the look of it. Yeah. One parasol that's come up. One parasol sprouting. Can't have that. Now he did say, oh, there's a parasol over there. Now he did say to me, he had a bloody great puffball. But it was the size of a football, which is brilliant. I always wanted one of those. He bloody booted it. There you go, that's another nice one. A few of them have died off and dried out. By the look of it, let's go see what else we can find. I'll leave that one for next time I'm over. I spy, with my little eye, if I'm really lucky, a puffball. Oh yes, look at that, lovely big giant puffball. That's a goodie, I'll have that. There's another fairy ring there, look. So I can have that. Oh, I've never had a puffball. Wow, look at all that lovely meaty flesh there. Oh, it'd be good to get it all in one go, but never mind. It's very wet, didn't expect that. Awesome. All right. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, let's get on with making my nice little wild mushroom soup. So I'm going to start with a puffball, lovely puffball. Now, it's been in the fridge overnight, it's quite wet. What you want is when they're nice and pearly white inside. But you do need to remove this tough skin. So you can either peel it, like doing there with my fingers, or it's not really coming like that, you can use a knife to cut it off. But that skin, you don't want to eat. Okay, so there we are, nice spongy marshmallowy white lumps, all chopped up, ready for frying. A lot of wastage, um, that's from it being wet and left overnight, I guess. It's all kind of like uh, started to go, started to mature, so it's gone all yellow and green. Look at that, it's actually quite quite pale on that but yeah it's quite dark there yeah, that's that's more like it uh so yeah that's ready to go that's going to go in with with ripped up parasol mushrooms so i've got a couple of those from yesterday i should have cooked all these yesterday but lemons really and my field mushrooms so that's the full mushroom feast there all chopped up ready to go in a pan just about to start chopping up my parsley i've got a mixture of fresh um flat leaf and fresh curly parsley in there and my butter with a bit of olive oil has foamed up in the pan in the wok, ready to go. Right, here we go. So my butter and olive oil mix is foaming nicely, nice and brown. Whack in my parsley, garlic, and there's a salt and pepper in there. You need quite a bit of salt, apparently, for the um, puffball. Whack everything else in. Okay, so a good old stir around. There's loads of butter because this stuff obviously is very absorbent. So it's going to be a very rich meal. And we're not going to want to eat too much more after that. Not going to be a long cook. Just got to get them to wilt down a bit. And hopefully it's going to be as delicious as it currently looks like it's going to be. It smells amazing from all that garlic. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Oh, it makes me think like I'm in Spain. Parsley and garlic smell. Parsley, garlic and butter. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. There we go. Now that's all done and dusted. Look at that. That's ready. So as soon as my toast pops up, my nice sourdough toast, we'll whack that on. Look at that. Final sprinkling of 
freshly chopped uncooked parsley on there. Look at that lovely big lump and chunk there. Can't wait. Was it good? Yes, it was good. So the parasols are the star of the show. They're really good. The um, field mushrooms, they were lost amongst that dish. I should have had them separately because I couldn't really appreciate the difference between them and normal mushrooms. Uh, and the puffball, weird, interesting texture. So it's like a, like a really moist, really soft marshmallow. Soft as in, you've got the, the marshmallow sort of density, but a, a softer feeling to it. So that's quite good. But do you know the best news of all? I'm still standing.